Hi everyone, welcome back to Media Made Easy, and today we are going to talk about PDU preparations. So I know your exam season is going on. I have been through that, and now we are going to talk about PDU so that you have enough information and procedure so you know what to do with it. So now we are going to flip through my notes. This is the notes I have prepared. So many notes for you guys. Okay. so let's start with what is the reality of ptu exams now the next video will be how to prepare for ptu and the whole exam series will be there so it's in the description please check it out so let's start so the very first thing you need to take care of is the procedure you need to know what is the checking procedure it is kind of like cbse so what happens is they get your sheet they get a bundle of sheets your can be on top can be on middle can be on end it does not matter that much it all depends on the checker they don't read carefully they will read the top very top part the introduction the conclusion and any headings or graphs you have they might look deeply into it if you have scored very good marks or very low marks to see if they can give it to you somewhere or cut it from somewhere in the higher cases now that is because if it is up to a certain level they have to recheck it so that they don't give you a very high marking just like cbsc if you are not from cbsc icsc this is how cbsc does it i'm just letting you know so that you don't get confused because many people are from cbsc so the next thing which you need to take care of result timeline it's not like you'll get a specific date it is not like your result will only come in afternoon or morning it is not that it will come within one month or two months it takes 3 months and with how much i have seen it it comes late at night it will come near dinner time around 9 or many times it have come late as well like some friends of mine have received their ptu result you will not believe it 11:30 my even my semester result once came at 11:45 don't mind it and if your result has been released and others result have not been released it can happen now there are two cases in this case the one is the whole stream in which you are in has not been given their result that means your papers have not been checked yet usually if other semester results have come if other uh, batches results have come or other entire you know different degree results have come it is likely that within 10 to 15 days your result will also come now if that does not happen and specifically your result hasn't come it might be that they are running some they are running through some issue or simply that it's with the other bundle and it's just not checked so don't worry too much about it it will get to you if don't this is why we tell you that i have not told it in any other video because it wasn't relevant then but whenever you are have you are paying for P, you are paying to ptu for exam have the screenshot have the whole printed card with you and if that doesn't come up have relevant screenshot and printouts to send to ptu to show them that you gave the exam that you were there that everything happened it sometimes come in handy very rare cases what does happen so let's prepare for the worst at least and since you know i'm a nerd i just like to print it out and set it with me till i have not completed the exams or gotten my result in some cases just to be sure okay now the third tip is passing criteria now it's not 33% per se but it's around 35% and uh, if uh, ptu exams usually happen for 60 marks so according to 60 marks if you get 25 or 20 even you will pass like 20 to 25 22 to 25 you will pass don't worry about it and it's fairly easy even if you know a little bit not a lot and you write some some parts and you give an overview and everything 
there are a lot of chances that you will pass now if you want to get very high marks then i might tell you that it is possible because in media there are a lot of people who don't care about exams because no one in the media industry care about exams they care about practicals but if you do want to get a very good grades then you need to have some precise facts about that you not all but some precise marks and your presentation needs to be very 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 good if you want me to make a separate video on this i will make it so just tell me in the comments and hopefully if someone comes up to me and they want more info and then i will just provide it now the fourth tip now the fourth tip would be i have to talk a lot about cbsc so if i compare it to cbsc it is not for school it is for college and it takes a lot of time to get the results now there is one more comparison that uh, it is a university cbsc provide guidelines cbsc checks it cbsc does everything but university is very different people care about your marks for just 2 minutes it doesn't reflect anywhere in especially in the media industry it does not matter that much and you will not get grades or you will not get preference because of these marks you will get preference because of your caliber so don't think that i say cbsc 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 so these marks will be relevant the biggest comparison now the fifth point and the last point is that they sometimes what happens is many people don't really take it seriously and don't really continue doing it so when they don't continue studying like even if you study half hour per week for literally com- complete every subject you can complete it within half hour now if you are not doing that if you are not making notes or if you are not using notes of someone or doing something like that chances are that you will have to reappear for the exams or you will have to send out a reevaluation for your marks now after the marks are come the result comes there is a corner where they say pass or reappear Be- simply to tell you that if you have to reappear in any exam and they tell you the exam as well now after some time there comes bifurcation of the marks now according to that you can see how much marks you got in that subject which you have to reappear for and if you think two three marks can be added or something like that they you can fill reevaluation they charge extra in my in this time they charge 700 but i don't know what will be in your case so you pay that and many times or not they often leave two three marks just like that and sometimes in many colleges not even ptu there are things called mass supply where it's told that university just does that so that they can earn a lot of junk of money together and usually 90% of them pass in that case i'm not saying this will be a case in your in your situation but it there could be so if you are not confident wait for the bifurcation if you are confident that you did not study you have to reappear anyhow don't 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 do reevaluation because it will be extra 700 you don't want to pay that if you know that you are not sure that you will get passing marks please keep that in mind if you liked it please like share and comment and tell me which next video would you like or is there any topic i haven't covered or i have forgotten i would love to learn please comment